Hi, this is Rosemary, and thank you for joining us for the January 2009 Craft Along Magical Needlework. I just wanted to start out on this first day by showing you some of the basic stuff you'll need to start cross-stitching. What you're going to need, um, I don't have the packaging with me, but this is what they call Ada cloth. It, um, I'm going to try to show you. This is the best cloth to start with if you're learning to cross-stitch because it already has your little squares marked out. The holes are very obvious, so you just put your stitches right through the holes. No knowledge required. The next thing you're going to need are needles. Sometimes they'll say cross-stitch on them, or sometimes they'll say tapestry. And um, you're just going to discover as you go along which ones you like the best. These are, uh, you know, it says size 24. It doesn't really matter. <clears throat> just depending on what you're working on. This is good for starting. Also, you'll need, look, Gryffindor colors. You're going to need um, cross-stitch thread. This thread is plied. You have lots of different threads in the strand. So to start, what you do is you pull apart. They're usually six plies. You pull them apart, and you generally stitch with two in most gauges. You pull two of them off and thread your needle. Very simple. Just like that. Let your little tail hang so you don't lose your stitch. Okay. A lot of people can, if it's a small project, you can just hold it like this and do your stitches right in there. You can also use a hoop. Get the size that you need depending on what you're wanting to stitch and fit it right on there, tighten it up, and that'll just hold it in place. It's very taut so it doesn't move on you. To make your stitches, let me get a darker thread for you. To make your stitches, what you want to do is you're going to have this extra thread. Knotting it in the back is not a good idea. It could come out eventually and your work will come apart. So what you want to do is in the back, I just put a thumb right on the end of my thread, like so, hold it in place, turn it over, I want you to see this. You start your first stitch, I'm going to make them really big so you can see them. You start in one corner of your box, go diagonal, put it through. And then on the back, what you want to make sure you do is cross over your tail. So when you make your stitches, it's going to hold it down for you. Cross over and put it in your next hole. So when you come out the front, you're crossing that stitch. And then on the back, it's held down. And we're going to do the same one, we're going to do it the same way in the next time. And just continue to make your crosses one way. And then the other. And see we're still holding it down in the back. And that's really all you need to know. You're being held down in the back, and in the front you've got crosses. Now I'm going to go ahead and do, let me clip this out of the way, I'm going to show you a little bit about how a chart works, because that's what you'll need when we get started on our projects. I've made a quick chart 
of a little heart. Y your charts are pretty much, this is a one solid color, so it has the same symbol in each box to denote that color. Um, you're going to have a gridded piece of paper and your boxes, it's called counted cross stitch. Your boxes are the ones you're going to stitch. Um, so when you start stitching, you'll say, okay, there's one stitch there, I'll do that. And then the next row up, you're going to see that there's three stitches. So you just do those and go on from there. Let me show you that right quick so you can see it. Stitch number one, right here, that's where I'll start. And you know, we all end up coming up with different ways to keep track of where your stitches go, but the best way for me is just to see where the stitches are in relation to each other. So after I make this first stitch, I will then just look at what's closest to it and do that next. I'm back to making them small, by the way, so you can, so it'll look more, like, finished. So the next row is three stitches, right there. A good way to do a row of consecutive stitches in the same color is to do one direction first. There's half a stitch. half of the next stitch, and half of the third stitch. Then you can just come back and cross all three of those. One, two, three. And then the next row has five stitches, that third row up. Once you get through um, with your chart, these little stitches, while they look like X's in the beginning, once you get it all filled in, it gives you a nice sort of solid stitch pattern. And unlike some of the freeform embroidery, this um, is really easy to keep track of, and it stays really uniform because you're just following, you're just putting them through the hole, the proper holes, and looking at a chart. So there you have it. There's the first three rows of our chart. So please join us on the Leaky Lounge, where we'll be continuing to talk about cross-stitch. And if you have any questions about cross-stitch, or would like to see a certain thing done, or just need general help, let us know, and we'll talk about it on the forums. And also, if there's something you really want to see done, we can do it um, via video. So let us know, and we'll be crafting with you soon.